everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to log into Big Maths and how to use it to complete your clicks and your learners. First, um, you can follow the link to Big Maths that your teacher sends you, or you can go onto the Big Maths website and you can click login in the top right hand corner. Next, you put in your login details. The school code at the top is the same for everybody in the school. It's 0281. Then you pop in your username and your password that your teacher has given you and you click login. Once you've logged in, this is what you should be able to see. This bar at the bottom here, it's empty for me at the moment, but it should have your previous scores from your last clicks and your last learn it's so you can see what you need to beat this time. To complete your clicks, click on this little alien here. And you will see that the first question comes up straight away. So you can start filling them in. I'm using the keys on my computer keyboard to fill this in. And then you press the little green arrow when you are finished. Now, if you're stuck on a question or you don't want to do it straight away um, and you want to come back to it later, you can skip the question by pressing the green arrow. And at the bottom, you can see that all the question numbers are there. And if you skipped a question, the number won't be shaded in. So I know I've done number one because it's shaded in white, but I haven't done two or three because they haven't been shaded in. So at the end, I can come back and I can click on those to have another go. When you're typing in your answers, if you are using a computer keyboard, you can just type in the numbers at the top. So for example, the answer is 12, I'm just going to type it in like this. Now, if you are in key stage one or key stage two, you might need to type in a subtract sign or an add sign. So if you need the subtract sign, it's just this key here. So you can press that on your keyboard. If you need the plus sign, the add sign, you can see that it is at the top of this key here. So first you need to hold down shift to so press the key and hold it down and then also press that key and you will get a plus. I'll show you one more time. So hold down the shift button and press the plus. Right, back to the click challenge. So when you get to the end, you just need to press finish challenge after you've carefully checked that you've had a go at all the answers. You can go back through and check your answers by clicking the back arrow. Then you want to have a go at your learn it. So click on this picture instead. You'll notice that the first question doesn't come up straight away because this challenge is timed. So when you are ready to go, you can press start and then you can key in your answers. You can use this keypad here. If you're on an iPad, that will probably be the easiest. Submit, so you press the answer, submit. If you're on a laptop, you can use, again, the numbers at the top. That will be faster than using your mouse. So if the answer was five, press five, and then you can press enter to submit your answer very quickly, okay? So again, the answer was five, press enter here to submit your answer. You can't go on to step five until you finish the step four questions. So I'm quickly gonna have a go at the step four questions. Now I've moved on to step five. You put the answer in, I'm putting it in and pressing enter, which is very, very quick. And you can see at the bottom, it's showing me that I'm going getting through step five. Okay. When the timer ends, the Learn It Challenge will end. Don't worry if you haven't managed to answer all the questions in that time. The more you do this, the quicker you will get. If you do finish all the answers in that time, then that's brilliant. If you're using this keypad and you've made a mistake, you can also press the delete button to go back. Or if you're using your computer keyboard, I'm just using the, um, the back. Um, delete button here.
Now, if you're in key stage two, you might need to use a couple of other symbols for your um, clicks. So if we have a look at this document here, so this is mainly just for key stage two children, year three to year five. You can pause the video on this if you'd like to have a look. It gives you a few tips and tricks that you might need for some of your questions, and I'm going to explain a couple of them in a minute. Down here, it talks about when you're using the operator, so the different symbols for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I've already explained how to get the addition symbol and how to get the subtraction symbol. I'm going to show you how to get the multiplication and division symbols. So for the division, it's a little bit tricky to get the divide sign that we normally use in class. So we're going to use this forward slash instead. If you are on a computer keyboard, then it is just this key down here. So for example, you can, so you can use this instead of a divide. So for example, um, if you are writing 10 divided by two, you would key in your 10, then you put the forward slash in instead of the divide symbol you normally use, and then a two. So one more example, if I wanted to write 40 divided by 10, 40 divided by 10. If you want to put in the multiply times symbol, then it's just the X, same as the letter. If you're using an iPad keyboard, keypad, then um, if you click on the, the little numbers that you get in the corner to get the keyboard that has the numbers, then you can see you've got the subtract and the add and the equals as well if you need it, and the forward slash or the divide just here. To get back to the letters, you click on this symbol here, and then you can just click the X to get the multiply. If you are writing a fraction, then you will also need the forward slash for the line between the numerator and the denominator. For example, if you write one half, you put the numerator in, press the forward slash, and then put the denominator in. I'll give you one more example. If you are writing four fifths, I'll put the four in, press the forward slash, and then put your fifths denominator in as well. And just a little reminder, in case you need the equal sign, it's just here. So that's everything from me. If you have any more questions, please ask your teacher. And when you are finished with your clicks and your learn it, you can just press log out. I hope you enjoy your home learning and I hope you enjoy doing your clicks and learn it online. Bye.